Hello, Annie. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. All right. Wonderful. Have you already eaten your dinner? Yes. Wonderful then. So let's start our classes now. Um, can you still remember our last topic last time before we finished? Do you still remember our topic? It's okay if you cannot remember. Um, let's have try a recapitulation afterwards, okay? So let me share my screen now and let's start our lesson. Can you still remember our topic like, have you ever? Yes. All right. So this is our topic, right? It's a have you ever. It's like, have you ever? Can you still remember the answer for this one? Flown. Flown to? This is? To London. London. Very good. Have you ever? Broke. Again, what is the past participle of the word? Broken. Bro. All right. And what about this one? Have you ever? Nice to meet you, Annie. What do you say? Have you ever Me. met? Because that is the past participle, right? Okay. Can you remember our class already? So this yeah. was our topic. All right. And we also talk about this one, the using of never, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And you say like everyone has been good, gone to school, has gone to school. You have that kind of answers before, right? And we talk about skiing. You, I ask you to describe what is skiing. Can you still remember skiing, Annie? Yeah. All right. And for our last topic, actually, we answered. This one, right? Can you still remember this, um, this, this one? Yeah. All right. So we used to answer this one. Okay, so let's move forward now. Okay. Do you get the three pictures? And I think I asked you to like write a story about this one, but I was not able to send a picture, but that's okay. But can you try me? Can you tell me what can you see in the first picture, in the middle picture, and in the last picture? Can you describe what is it? Where is it? What are they doing? And what do you think are they thinking? Um, did you understand my instruction, Annie? No. Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Okay, for the first picture, what can you see in the first picture? I can see a mountain, a car, a tree, a house. Okay, trees, house, right? Uh, and what is the weather on that place? Mm, it's snowing. Okay, it's snowy, right? Um, the place is covered with snow. The place is covered with snow, right? And on the second picture, what can you see? There are... There are two... Two people. Okay. Is it outside or inside? They are inside. 
okay, inside the house, right? So there are two people inside the house. And what is the little boy or the kid thinking? What is he thinking? Mm. I don't know. I mean, this one, what do you call this one again? Skiing. Okay. Ski. So he's thinking about? Ski. Skiing, right? He's thinking yeah. about to ski. All right. And the third picture, what is he doing now? He is skiing. All right. And what about the father on the window? What is he doing? He is waving. Waving. It's like goodbye or be careful or stop. What do you think? I think be careful. Be careful. Right. So you can create a story just by seeing the picture, right? So in the first picture, we know what's the place and what's the weather, right? And the second picture, there is a boy standing on the window thinking, what is the good thing to do during this winter season? Maybe I can go for skiing. And the third picture, he really had been gone skiing. Okay, did you get it? Did you understand any? Hello, Annie. Can you hear me, Annie? Yes. Okay, is it fast? Did I explain it fast? No. Okay. Let's try to see what else. Can you read this sentence? There's a lot of snow. There's lots of snow in Harry's village. Harry's, Harry's dad can't open the door and can't drive Harry to school. Harry has an idea. He opens the window, clamps out, puts on his skis, and skis to school. Okay. So that is the story. There's lots of snow in Harry's village. So meaning to say, um, they are supposed to go to school, right? But the dad cannot bring Harry to school because there is a lot of snow. Have you seen a snow? Have you seen snow, Annie, in your life? Have you seen one? Hello, Annie. Have you seen snow? Real snow before? No. No, not yet. Okay, so you can see the car cannot move, right? So what Harry did? What did Harry do? He opened the window. Why did he open the window? Because. Because. Mm -hmm. Harry can't, can't open the door. Also, right. So they, because they cannot open the door. All right. So when he opened the window, he climbed out and he put the ski and ski to the school. Very easy to understand, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about things we've all done. Okay. Um, can you tell me like, what is could be your answer for number one? We've all watched. What particular activity do you think your age has watched? Movie. Okay, very good. So we've all watched movie. Very good. Next, we've all eaten. We all eaten dinner. Okay, but can you think of a particular food? 
it we are eating rice okay so that could be very famous one rice but none of us has eaten but none of us has eaten fish okay i mean for everyone do you think it's only some of us has not eaten fish but what do you think is a uh, most common food that not everyone was able to eat or what is it something that you cannot eat what is it something that you cannot eat none of us has eaten what salad salad uh see i mean what kind of salad i mean i have eaten salad so I mean, it's something that cannot be eaten. Can you think of it? Something that yeah. cannot be eaten. Um, has eaten what? Like soil? <laughs> I mean, no one can eat soil, right? Or have you ever tasted like turkey? Have you tasted turkey? I don't know turkey. Oh, Turkey. Let's try to see a picture of Turkey. Oops, wait a minute. Food. This is Turkey. Um, a big bigger than chicken um not yet food let's put a turkey bird this is turkey have you eaten a turkey no not yet so this is quite rare right so we can put this one oh who's crying <laughs> My baby. Oh, your baby. Brother or sister? Brother. Oh, baby brother. I see. Okay, next go. That's, we've all felt. What are the emotions? You can be sad, angry, um, happy. Lonely, um, afraid, disgusted. What are the feelings? What do you think? We've all felt just just one. Right. We've we've all felt bored. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so we put here, we've all felt bored, or we can say we all felt, yeah, like this one. Next, but none of us have felt what? Mm, happy. It is quite sad, right? Next, we've all traveled to... to... Beach. Okay. But no one has traveled to... Maybe we can choose this one, Europe. I mean, no one has been to Europe yet or outside country. 
You can see, you can see that one. Next, this year we've all bought. We've all bought. We buy something. What do you think everyone buys? Gift. Okay, gifts. All right. But no one has bought. Clothes. Clothes. All right. And today, we've all learned about English. Okay, English. Very good. This is very nice, Annie. So, can you read? Uh, let's read it. Your sentence says, we've all watched movies. We've all eaten rice, but none of us has eaten turkey. We've all felt bored, but none of us have felt happy. We've all traveled to beach, but no one has traveled to Europe. This year, we've all bought gifts, but no one has bought clothes. Today, we've all learned about English. All right. This is wonderful. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Uh, we're going to move to the next topic already. But for your assignment, this is what you're going to do. Ask your family member to find things that they have all done or have all never done. Write your sentences in your notebooks. Okay, I'm going to share the picture later. So this is what we're going to do for your assignment. Okay? Yeah. All right. For this one, let's move to the next topic. For a moment. So we're going now to unit 44 and the title of the of the lesson is about what just what has just happened? So things that happened already. A moment, just loading it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, good. So this one, we're going to talk about what just happened. Okay, can you tell me what, uh, what can you see in the picture? I can see birthday party. It's a birthday party, right? And who's celebrating birthday? Is it a boy or a girl? Can you describe him? Can you describe this one, this boy, the one who's celebrating his birthday? Is he small? Uh, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Are you talking? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Can you describe the boy in the center? What is the color of the shirt he's wearing? What is he doing? He's, he's wearing blue t-shirt mm -hmm. and he is, I don't know. Blowing the candles. He Can you say blowing it? A mm -hmm. candle. The candles. Okay. And what is where what is he wearing on the top of his head? It is a he is wearing a hat. Okay, that is a party hat, all right? So there is a boy wearing a blue t-shirt who is blowing candles and wearing a party hat. That's right. And how many children can you see? I can see Eight. Eight? Are you sure eight or nine? How many? Uh, nine. All right, nine, because one is like hiding, right? Very good. Okay, when is your birthday, Annie? My birthday on um, 20, 27th of October. Oh, okay. So your birthday is every 27th of October. Oh, I see. And you have just turned what age last last time? You turned what age? How old are you now? Nine. Nine. So you turned nine last October 27 last year. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you and your friends usually have birthday parties? Mm, yes, I do. Mm, I see. Very good. What do you or people do at birthday parties? What are they doing? They are dancing. Eat. Mm -hmm. Can you answer me in a sentence? People are dancing, eating. People are dancing, eating, singing. Singing and anything else? No. Do you, do you play games during birthday parties? Do you have games? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, some and playing games, right? All right. Yeah. And what is your food during your birthday? What do you have during your birthday? Um, birthday cake, cookies. Have, okay, cookies. Fruit. Fruits, all right. Um, chips. Chips, all right. Do you have spaghetti? What do you have? What do you eat? Usually for your birthday. In Vietnam, what do you have like for birthday in Vietnam? Mm, you're supposed to have like sorry sandwich. sandwiches, okay? Mm, chickens. Chicken? Is it fried? No. Oh, I see. Soup? Not sure. Oh, okay. It's a common food in Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Very nice. So, so there must be a lot of foods then, right? There are a lot of foods. Are there a lot of foods? Do you have a yes. lot of many foods? Okay, I see. And what? And you say that people also dance during the birthday, right? What that? What do they dance? Does it have a lot of music? during the birthday? Yes. Okay, like dance music, so people can dance, like party music? Yes. All right, so that's the reason. And you said as well that people as well sing in the birthday. Is that correct? Yes. And what are they singing? They're singing 
birthday song. Okay, a birthday song. Of course, right? And what happens when the people are singing birthday song? What is usually done? If I'm going to sing like happy birthday to you, what will happen? Are they going to bring the cake to the birthday celebrant? Yes. Right. Can you explain to me what will happen? People are well, people will sing happy birthday. People uh sing. Singing. Singing. Happy birthday song. Mm-hmm. Then someone will bring cake, right? Will bring cake to the celebrant. And after singing the song, the birthday celebrant will blow the candles, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what's hap that's what happened. Okay. For you exactly, what do you like eating at birthday parties? What do you like eating? I like eating birthday cakes. Birthday cakes. Okay. Um what kind of cake? Chocolate, strawberry, blueberry, mm -hmm. vanilla cake? What what flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, I see. That's wonderful. Right. For this one, we're going to read two party invitations. Can you read the first invitation? Hi. Hi. Please come to my party on Saturday, 12 December at the Concert Cafe. It starts at 5 p.m. Choose between pizza or burgers. Make sure you bring trainers. Trainers because we will play, we'll we'll play, play football later. Love, Emma. Okay, so let me read it again. Hi, please come to my party on Saturday, 12 December at Concert Cafe. It starts at 5 p.m. Choose between pizza or burgers. Make sure you bring trainers because we'll play football later. Love, Emma. Okay, what about the second one? Can you read it? Hi, this year, my party at my house. 28 Museum Street on 15 November. Um... Add it. Okay. Add it to your calendar. Calendar. It start at four. No, half past four p.m. Wear your funniest clothes. We we have mom's chocolate cake. We have a quiz. Play board games and we play. We have a dance comp comp competition. Competition too. All mark. right. Okay. Said Mark. Okay. Let me read it for another time, Annie, and repeat. Okay. Hi. This year, my party is at my house, 28 Museum Street, on 15th of November. Add it to your calendar. It starts at 4:30 p.m. Wear your funniest clothes. We'll have mom's chocolate cake. We'll have a quiz, play board games, and we'll have a dance competition too. Mark. Okay, can you read that invitation again for another time? Hi. This year, my party at my house, 28 Museum Street, on 15 November. Add it to your calendar. It start at 4.30 p.m. Where your funny is close. We have mom's chocolate cake. We have a quiz. Play board game. And we have 
uh, dance competition too. Dance Mark. competition too. Dance competition too. Okay, very good. Okay, can you tell me um, who will celebrate birthdays? Who are going to celebrate their birthdays? Who will celebrate? In picture one. Yeah, I mean picture one. It is. Mm. I think Emma. Okay, that would be Emma, right? And yeah. when is her birthday? When is her birthday? On twelve December. Okay, and what time it will start? And where? It starts at 5 p.m. At, mm, at the concert cafe. Okay, at the concert cafe. Very good. Next one. Um, for the second picture, who will celebrate a birthday? Mark. Okay, it will be Mark. And for Mark's birthday, um, when is it? When is his birthday? Uh, on 15 November. Mm -hmm. 15 of November. And where is he going to celebrate it? And at what time they will start? What time? Mm -hmm. At 4.30 p.m. Okay, 4.30 p.m. And where are they going to celebrate his birthday? Where is he going to celebrate the birthday? His house. Okay, his house. And his house is located at? Uh, 28 Museum Street. Okay, very good. Okay, can you tell me what are the foods for Emma and what would be the food for Mark's birthday? The food? The food is pizza. Oh, I mean, for whom? Whose birthday is that? That is for Emma. Emma. And for Mark? For Mark is mom's chocolate cake. Okay, her mom, his mom's chocolate cake. And what are they going to do during their birthday? For Emma, they will? They will play football. Oh, I see. And do you know what is trainers? No. This is sneakers. Shoes. These are shoes. Okay, another term for shoes. Or is trainers. Okay, Annie? Yeah. Take note, okay? So another term for shoes or sneakers is trainers. Okay, I mean shoes for playing sports. They're called it trainers. Okay? Yeah. Okay, next. What about Mark? What are they what they will do? What they, will they do? They will play a board game and dance competition. Okay. So they will have a quiz first, then they will play board games, then dance competition. For you, Annie. Um, whose birthday party do you like to attend? Is it Emma's or Mark? I like Mark. Why? Why you like Mark's birthday party than Be Emma? Because I like to play board games. Oh, you like to play board games like chess, right? That's what you said. Yeah.
Uh, what board game? What are what other board games you know? Do you know other board mm -hmm. games like Snakes and Ladders or Checkers? Monopoly. Oh, I see. It's all right. So you like marks. Why you don't like to go to Emma? Because I don't like play football. Oh, you no, you don't play football. Oh, I see. And about food, which do you prefer more, Mark or Emma? I like Emma. Emma, why? Because I like pizza or burgers. Oh, I see. You like pizza or burgers. Oh, I see. Me too. I would prefer to go Emma than chocolate cake, right? And that would yeah. be... That's good. Let's try to see. It's okay. Um, we already uh, answered this question. Okay, you also answer this one. Okay, we're going to read the conversation and choose the best answer A to H. Okay, for example, is it your birthday today? Isn't it, Mark? And the best answer for this one, that's right, I'm 12. How did you know? So, are you going to have a party? So, I mean, try to complete the conversation as you read it. Can you do this, Annie? Yes. Okay, let's try to answer. Are you going to have a party? What would be your answer? Mm. B. B? Yes, we've just got some. Are oh, you sure? No, no, no. Um... Are you going to have a party? What are the answers with yes? I see yes, she's here today. You also have G. G. Yes, I'm really excited. So your answer is G? Yeah. All right. So you put here yes. I'm really excited. Okay, next, Jill will ask, have you invited all the kids in your class? What's your answer? I don't know. Let's try to look. At five, I think I'm not sure. So this is not the answer. Okay. What about letter H? Only about 10 of them. What do you think? Yes, I think so. Letter H, right? It could be letter H. So let me put here H. Can you read oh, it to wait me? wait a minute. Okay, what? I go out. Oh, sure.
May continue, Annie. So only about of 10, that's our age. Okay? May continue. Yes. What and what time does it start? What do you think is the answer? I can you read that? At five, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, good. Number four, they have a question. Has your mom bought a lot of food? Um, I think C. Yes, she's here today. Is that your answer, final? What about B? Yes, we've just got some. Oh, B. Okay. So we put here, yes. We've just got some. So this is our B. And last, have a good time. E. That is? Thank you. I will. All right. So let's try to read the conversation. You will be Jill and I will be Mark. Okay? Okay. It's your birthday today, isn't it, Mark? That's right. I'm 12. How did you know? Are, are you going to have a party? Yes, I'm really excited. Have you invited all the kids in your class? Only about 10 of them. And what time does it start? At five, I think. I'm not sure. Has your mom bought a lot of food? Okay, again. Has your mom bought a lot of food? Has your mom bought a lot of food? Yes, we've just got some. Have a good time. Thank you. I will. Next time, please invite me to... Sure, sure, sure. I mean, of course, that's not part of the conversation, but surely uh, Mark will uh, will invite Jill, right? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, this is the end of our lesson for tonight. Um, Hanny, thank you very much for coming to class. I will share the assignment later through our chat because you have to write something, the things you have done together as a family and the things that you haven't done. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions? No. Okay. Thank you very much for coming to class. Have a great night and see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye now. Bye.